Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review, wear test, and comparison on the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, and we're going to be comparing this to the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. These are expensive, $44, $45 products. This is $14. So we're going to review this because it's new, and then we're going to also compare and see if it's too. So keep watching because I'm going to give you guys all the tea right now. And you guys won't want to miss it. So let's get into this. I already went ahead and moisturized and did everything. So basically what this product is, in case you've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter, is these products are supposed to kind of be literally the name, like a filter for your skin. It's a multi-purpose liquid glow booster infused with skin-loving ingredients to give your complexion a soft, focused social filter effect. Um, it's a skincare makeup hybrid for glowy, dewy skin. Um, it can be used by itself over or under makeup or mix with your foundation as a highlighter. Um, it has squalane and also hyaluronic acid. It's available in eight universal shades and it moisturizes, hydrates, and blurs lines and pores for a smoother, soft focus finish. So I'm really excited. I did purchase this in the shade medium, shade five. Now I do want to say this is my summer shade. I have probably gone up two shades from winter and spring shade. So if you are my winter and spring shade and you're that shade consistently year round, then I wouldn't get the shade that I have right now. I'll probably get shade medium. This one is medium tan. So I would get maybe light medium or medium if you are my winter spring shade. If you do tan, then I would recommend getting this. This one by Charlotte Tilbury is my winter and spring shade. This is the shade medium 4.5. So you guys can see how much I've jumped in shade for the summer um so this is what they look like very similar packaging which you guys can see look at that pretty packaging elf is just really doing the damn thing because this is also like a glass bottle so packaging very comparable so Charlotte Tilbury you get one standard ounce this one you get 1.06 so a pinch bit more in the new elf one so let's go ahead and put the elf one to work and then we're going to go ahead and apply Charlotte Tilbury on the other side so it comes with a big doe foot applicator like the one by Charlotte Tilbury. And you guys will see, like it literally matches the complexion so well. Like this is like a really good summer shade. I don't like to use too much of this because like I said, this is a glowy finish. Um, and I like to wear this under my makeup. So I'm just gonna go in and apply a little bit just on this side. So then once we do that, I'm just gonna take a little brush and I'm just going to be Applying this all over, you guys can see it gives a really pretty healthy glow. So it says that you can wear this alone without any makeup. You can mix it with your foundation. These are also great if like, let's say your winter foundation is a little too light because you did get a little bit of a tan in the summer. You can go in with a little bit of a darker color and then mix that in and kind of create that perfect cocktail shade for the summer. Mix with your foundation and this filter. I like the fact that this isn't like too glowy. There's like no shimmer in this. Like it has a healthy radiance from within glow. It doesn't have like glitter glow. I also appreciate the fact that it doesn't look orange. I feel like when I first was applying it, I was like, is this gonna look orange? But it doesn't give me like an orangey finish. So this is with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this is with nothing on the face. Um, I like this shade a lot for summer. It's working really well, even with my neck and like my complexion overall. I feel like it looks really nice. Um, and like, honestly, this could be worn by itself and it looks absolutely beautiful. Like it's giving me a healthy glow, but not looking like overglow. And also, like I said, mixed with foundation or like, let's say you have a day where you don't feel like wearing too much makeup. You want something super lightweight. This will give you that lightweight feel for some impressions. And also it does have enough coverage where it covered my rosacea. Like it looks evened out. So like on top of like my skincare products, it would work amazing. I like to go in with a nice sunscreen every day that's a little bit tinted. My preference tends to be the Bliss one, which I actually need to get a new one because I'm literally pretty much out of this guy. It's so good. Um, and then I also recently started using the Elta MD, but I kind of like the Bliss one better. This one kind of pills on me sometimes. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna give it a go because I bought it and this was not cheap. So yeah, so we have that on. Um, but I really like how it looks. Let me touch it. It's not too sticky either. So that's another good thing, but you guys can see the difference. It definitely evens out the skin very beautifully and I appreciate that. Okay, now we're gonna do Charlotte Tilbury. Now, Charlotte Tilbury, this is my winter shade and you guys can see the difference between these two right here. So what I'm gonna do is, cause I do have the shade 6.5 and I like to mix these 
during the summer when I was using them. Um, and I think if I mix these together, I'll get this perfect shade. So we're just gonna do equal parts of both. So I mix them. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be similar to the elf color that we have going on. So I'm just gonna be blending this out. Okay, I will say, I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit more sheer but I do feel like they have the same amount of like glow. Like they really give you a beautiful, perfected glow. The Shark Celebrity one is a complexion booster that blurs, smooths, and illuminates the complexion for a real life filter. Um, it's a customized glow that you can use in four different ways, just like the one by e.l.f. This one contains the finely milled powders to blur lines, pores for a smoother, soft effect which is very similar to the e.l.f. one. Um, it also contains porcelain flower extract that visibly brightens and moisturizes skin, um, and then glossy oil, which is lightweight moisturizing oil that reflects and adds light to where you need it to. So those two ingredients obviously are very different than the e.l.f. ones. The e.l.f. ones um, said that it was mainly squalene and hyaluronic acid, but they both do have the finely milled powders. This is what we're looking like. I think low-wise, it's honestly very comparable to one another. I mean, the glow is there. Okay, so we're gonna be taking my favorite foundation, and this foundation is absolutely excellent. It gives you such a flawless finish, the Dose of Colors. Um, you guys can check it out on Dose of Colors website, or also on Amazon, they do have it there. I wear the shade 122 Medium Tan. So I'm just going in with my Dose of Colors foundation on both sides, and I'm gonna be using my Juno & Co sponge that I always rave about. And apply foundation on top. Ooh, that looks pretty. And don't forget that you can also use these products um, mixed with your foundation. If you're somebody maybe that has a foundation that's a little too matte, and you wanna make it a little bit more of a glowy finish, you can definitely mix this right in with your foundation and bam, you have the most beautiful results. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks underneath the foundation. It looks stunning. Like it looks stunning. You can see a little bit of radiance, but it looks like a beautiful, flawless radiance from within, um, which I really love. Now we're gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury side. It's blending really nicely with the Charlotte Tilbury as well. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and let you guys know my thoughts. I'll also show you guys how these two look in natural lighting. But first impressions, e.l.f., y'all are onto something because this looks stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. Like I cannot get enough. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful for $14, you really can't top that. But we still have the rest of the day to see how this does. So I'm gonna finish this face and then I'll come back and let you guys know how it's looking once everything is in place, set, ready to go, and then we can initiate the day. So I finished my entire face of makeup. All the details will be listed down below in my description box. Today I decided to go full glam because I was just honestly feeling myself and I was like, let me do a full glam moment. But let's talk about the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Okay guys, this product, it's really good. It's really good. So we're wearing it on this side of the face and then on this side we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. So you guys can see, honestly guys, I feel like they look the same with the foundation, without the foundation, they look the same. We'll say this works really beautifully with the rest of my products. So I had no issues of that at all. And I'm really happy because sometimes when you're applying like a complexion product under your foundation, it can mess with stuff and this doesn't because it dries very nicely on the skin and it kind of becomes warm with the skin and gives you that beautiful glow that you would want. This is an excellent product for people that are looking to do like event makeup or for like a makeup artist. You want to use this for like a bride. Like this is just like that bride lit from within glow and I'm living for that. Another thing that I really do like about this product is the fact that when I wear it, even when you guys saw me wearing it alone, like without any type of foundation on top, it looks so beautiful and it had a really nice pigmentation. So it's not too sheer where you couldn't wear it by itself. Like look at this pigment. The pigmentation is there. I'm gonna show you guys the Charlotte Silvery Flawless Filter right next door. Obviously this is a lighter shade, but this one is like a little bit more of a sheer consistency, just a pinch bit more sheer than the one by e.l.f. You guys can see like it just kind of, blends a little bit more sheer and I feel like the one by e.l.f. like just blends like a dream. So this is the one by e.l.f. 
and this is the one by Charlotte Tilbury. So they both have like that healthy, gorgeous glow. Like it literally looks like it's the same product. It's obviously the color's different. There's no glitter in there or like sparkle, any of that. It's just like a glow. Like they nailed, like Elf really nailed it with the glow because the glow is the exact same as the Charlotte Tilbury right here. I do want to point out one more thing. Um, so I have oily skin, right? And I do have some texture, which you guys can see. Wearing things like these products can definitely enhance my texture just because I feel like when you have radiance or glow, it can make things pop more. Um, Cause that's what you're doing. You're bringing more attention to that area. And I feel like with the Hollywood filter, one of the reasons why I didn't like wearing this alone was because it really enhanced my texture. I didn't have perfectly smooth skin. And also somebody that has oily skin, it gave me too much of a luminous, I was about to say Louie instead of dewy, a dewy effect that I didn't want because I like more so that matte finish. But I will say this elf one, when I was just wearing this alone, I was very impressed with how beautiful my skin looked. Like it just looked like gorgeous skin. So I'm really leaning towards this one. But let me just tell you, they're both very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right now. It is 2 p.m. We had a late start because I was literally waiting for this package. Um, and I will see you guys at the end of the day for my final thoughts and let you guys know what we conclude with the e.l.f. one. But so far, I'm being very vocal about it, but I really love this product. It's so beautiful, especially right now for summer. Like, oh my gosh, just wearing this alone. So I'm gonna show you guys a natural lighting clip and then my final thoughts on how this looks at the end of the day. So definitely stay tuned because you won't wanna miss that. Okay guys, so this is the natural lighting clip with the Charlotte Tilbury on this side and the e.l.f. on this side. It looks stunning. It looks like glowing, gorgeous skin. That's why I said earlier that this is why I feel like this is a beautiful product for like makeup artists, for event makeup, for bridal makeup, because it just gives you like a lit glow from within, like a healthy glow. I really love how they both look, but if we want to save some cash, this one's really good. I showed you guys with foundation, but I also wanted to show you guys without it, just in case you're wondering or wanted to wear this by itself without a foundation. This is Charlotte Tilbury. This is e.l.f. What do you guys think? It gives a very pretty glow to the skin. Very healthy, youthful, perfect for the summertime, honestly. Especially if you do have normal dry skin, I think you'll love this. Or like little to no texture, I think this will be great. Um, I do have some texture and I do have oily skin. This is what it looks like. Okay guys, I am back right now. It is 7.48 p.m. and I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So we're wearing it on this side of our face and on the other side of our face, we are wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I feel like in the beginning of the day when I showed you guys in natural lighting clip, they both look the same obviously because I'm wearing foundation on top. So it's kind of hard to tell you know the difference but you guys did see them without the foundation they looked literally very very similar now right now like i feel like the complexion is just glowing in a nice way i feel like people are going to love the halo glow a lot or definitely people that have dry skin normal skin people that love to have that extra glow and i think you guys can get away with just using this alone by itself and not feeling like it's too dewy for your life i feel like somebody that has oily to really oily skin We'll definitely want to perhaps mix this with the foundation or perhaps wear this underneath the foundation. By itself, it's not bad at all, but I definitely can see how somebody would be like, oh, that's too glowy for me. This does give you very pretty coverage too, considering the fact it's not foundation, it's just like that filtered effect all over the skin. Um, and for me, it covered a good amount of my rosacea, which you guys saw. But I have to say, I'm very impressed with what e.l.f. did here because e.l.f. literally just came in and said, you know what? They have the high-end one, but we know we have our people who are on a budget and we got you covered. I'm gonna be purchasing my winter shade for sure in store because this is definitely something I love how it looks. Love, like gorgeous glow. And we don't have to spend $44. Who doesn't love that? So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this review. I really wanted to get this up as soon as I could for you guys. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's know continue doing these type of videos for you guys. You guys know I love doing my review and wear tests for you guys. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.